Buster Casey's turning out the pilot, the lights, the, the caution lights on that Diaz family mobile. Coming to the green flag, just about to come out. Mike here, starter drops the green flag. Green flag is out, Bradley McGaskill and the 51 of Chris Chapman, side by side, going down into turns one and two. The 54 of Foes checks up just a tad bit, the 19 of Brandon Hobbs to the outside of him. That's the 07 of Ronald Renfro now pulling up into the fourth position. Cars are still side by side, but it's Bradley McGaskill with a one car lane lead advantage over the rest of the field. Further back in the field, Jonathan Finley, 2015 track champion, looks to the inside of newcomer to the late model stock program. That's the 28th of Tyler Horn, our 2015 track champion in the U-Car division. Stepped it up quite a bit to the late model division. So that's awesome to see him out here. It's Bradley McGaskill out by a car length in front of the 51 to Chris Chapman as they come down turn number four, out of turn number four. Chris Chapman looks to the inside, doesn't see it, tucks back in behind Bradley McGaskill. That's the 54 of Michael Foes, tucks in behind the 51 of Chapman. It's Ronald Renfro coming off of turn number two, a little bit loose, checks it back up, gets right behind Michael Foes. He's in the four spot right now, a little bit further back in the field. Again, that's the 28 driver of Tyler Horn on the rear bumper of the 21 of Tim Allensworth. The 77 driver of Tal Davidson out here this weekend driving a Mike Darn racing automobile. 29 of Melvin Langley gets past the 29 of Paul Williamson in the very back. That's the 17 of Zachary Marks looking to the inside of the 29 driver, Paul Williamson. Paul Williamson stepping up from the Charger division. Tyler Horn looking to the inside of Tim Allensworth back there for the 10th and 11th position, but right now it is still Bradley McGaskill leading the way only by half a car length to driver Chris Chapman. Chris Chapman looks to the inside, coming off of turn number four. Still doesn't have it. He's patiently awaiting his move. When he can get by Bradley. The 54 of Michael Foes, about a car length back riding right now in that third spot. Followed by the 07 of Ronald Renfro. Followed by the 18 of Jason York. Good showing for him right now. Chris Chapman looks to the inside, coming off a of two, doesn't have it, gets tucked back behind the 18 of Bradley McGaskill. Chris Chapman taps on the back bumper of Bradley McGaskill, coming off a of four, still has nothing. Bradley's still out in the lead. Right now, further back in the field, it's the 38 of Ricky Jones in the 13th position, looking to the inside of the four of Jonathan Finley, followed by the 29 of Melvin Langley, all gaining positions on last year's track champion, Jonathan Finley, as they go down into turn number four. But it is still Bradley McGaskill out front of Chris Chapman. 10 laps in the books, 40 laps to go. On the track right now, the 63 of Tyler Matthews making some moves right now. He was in the sixth position, went to the inside of the 18 of Jason York. Now he's in the fifth position. But it is still Bradley McGaskill, only by a half a car length lead over the 51 of Chris Chapman. Both of those drivers, the 51 and the 18, have now broken away from the pack just a little bit, about two car lengths ahead of the 54 of Michael Foes. Tim Allensworth looking to the inside of the 77 car of Tal Davidson, who's running in the 10th position here for the first time here at Southern National, driving that Mike Darn racing machine. Out of Mooresville, North Carolina. of Tyler Horn on the rear bumper of the 19 of Brandon Hobbs. That's back in the 8th, ninth position. 
coming off to the line, clicking 16 off of the 50 lap feature here tonight. It's the 28 of Tyler Horn, side by side racing, going down into turns one and two right now. Tyler Horn and Brandon Hobbs. Tyler Horn gets the clean pass coming off of turn number two, but it's still Chris Chapman trying to find that inside move on the leader right now of Bradley McGaskill as they go through turns one and two. Bradley is still out front, only by about a half car length. Chris can dive into those corners, gain traction on him, trying to get that right move coming off the corner to see if he can beat him a little bit off the corner. These guys tonight are riding on two new tires and two scuff tires. That's two new tires and two scuff tires. So it's a little bit different for them. They need to maintain tire control and tire wear tonight. There is another 50 lap feature event here. Uh, it's our last race of the night. Nineteen laps down, the 51 of Chapman is still trying to overtake the 18 of Bradley McGaskill. Riding in the third position tonight is the 54 of Michael Foes, followed by the 07 of Ronald Renfro, followed by the 63 of Tyler Matthews, and that rounds out your top five. Further back in the field, you have Tim Allensworth in the 10th position, making a pass to the inside of Brandon Hobbs to overtake the number, the ninth position. A little bit of a freight train going on right there. Ricky Jones followed the 21, now overtaking Brandon Hobbs to the outside. Brandon's now lost two positions coming to the strike next time by. Bradley McGaskill is still out front. Now he's gained a little bit of an impressive lead, about two car lanes over the 51 of Chris Chapman. We still have Michael Foes in third, 07 of Renfro in four, 63. Caution is out on the track. Caution is out on the track. Brandon Hobbs goes around. Brandon Hobbs goes around and turns three and four. That'll be the 77 of Kyle Davidson who will drop to the rear. Brandon Hobbs facing the wrong direction on the back stretch. He's going to turn it around here in a minute. Regroup. Jonathan Finley makes it out. I'm ineligible to take the cone just because he didn't make it out of the pits in time. The cone is a strategic process. Right now, Tyler Matthews taking advantage of it, was running in the fifth position, but now he moves up to the fourth position, takes to the outside. So the lineup for the restart of the BK Racing first 50 lap feature for tonight. It's 18 to Bradley McGaskill outside of Chris Chapman. Lights are out on the pace truck here. Southern National, we're about to go green. Bradley McGaskill leading them the way through turns three and four. Chris Chapman on the outside of him. 54 of Michael Foes and the 63 of Tyler Matthews. That's your top four running right now. Green flag's out. Looks like it's going to be a good restart. Chris Chapman, Bradley McGaskill side by side going through turns, turns one and two. Door to door racing all the way back to positions number eight. Starting to straighten out right now. 07 of Ronald Renfro. A little bit into the rear end of the 44 of TJ Barry. Tyler Horn to the outside. Three wide going into turn one, turn turn number one between the 38 of Ricky Jones, 21 of Tim Allensworth, and Tyler Horn. Bradley McGaskill gets a little bit of advantage. Two car lengths lead over the 51 of Chris Chapman. Twenty-nine of Melvin Langley trying to get by the 28 of looks to the inside of Tyler Horn going down into turns three and four. Little door rub in there, coming off of turn number four. Melvin Langley goes for a ride, spin. got a right front tire that is down. His spare will go on there. 
18 of Jason York still seeking some attention from his pit crew. 24 laps down, Bradley Bigas still showed 29, had a tire change. So did the uh, 18. So the 29 right now, Melvin Langley is the only one that is ineligible for the cone. The cone is out. We're seeking positions here for the next restart. Pace truck as Buster Casey guides that thing down through turns three and four. It's Bradley McGaskill and Chris Chapman. Michael Foes in the third spot. And that's TJ Baring, a new guy up there in the front top four. That's TJ Baring in the 44 car. As the green flag, Mike Hare is going to be waving it here. Green flag is out. Bradley McGaskill spun his tires just a tad bit. But it is Bradley McGaskill and Chris Chapman again side by side going through turns one and two. Side by side, the field remain halfway down the back stretch. The 63 of Tyler Matthews looks to the inside of the 44 of TJ Barron. 63 wants that four spot really bad. I tell you, the 38 of Ricky Jones has had an impressive run so far with these couple of cautions. He's taken some advantages there. He has moved up the field. Fell back at the beginning of the race. Started fourth today. Fell back to sixth, seventh position, but now he's back up in the front of the fifth position right now. 18 and the 17 side-by-side -side racing back on the backstretch. But it is still Bradley McGaskill out front right now. Followed by the 51 of Chris Chapman and then the 54. It's Ricky Jones to the inside of the 44, T.J. Barron, hoping to overtake the fifth position. T.J. Barron pulls away, pulls him down the backstretch. Still to the inside of the 44, though. The 17, the 17 and the 18 are running side-by-side -side back there in the 12th and 13th positions. 29 and Melvin Langley to the rear bumper of the 17, looking to advance after he was sent to the rear of the field after bringing out the last caution. 29 and Melvin Langley aggressively spins the 17. Aggressively spins the 17 of Zachary Mark on the front stretch. Seventeen as Zachary Marks turns his car into the pit. Bradley McGaskill to the inside, Chapman to the outside, fifty-four of Foes, sixty-three of Matthews, and the forty-four of T.J. Barrett to the inside. That gives a great advantage to Ricky Jones back to his original starting spot. That's the thirty-eight of Ricky Jones. We'll be restarting this restart with in the fourth position. Looks like the 77 of Zachary Marks is out of his ride. Calling it a night here on this first one. Brandon Hobbs is still in his ride, although he is nosed into his trailer. Lights are out on the pace truck as they come down through here. Caution car is going to pull off. Mike here in the flag stand. Green flag is going to be waving. Side by side restart again as we go door by door, two by two, down into turns one and two, side by side, all the way coming back out of two. Ricky Jones to the outside of the 54 of Michael Foes. The 63 of Tyler Matthews to the inside of the 38. The 44 of TJ Barron trying to hold off Tim Allensworth behind him, but Tim Allensworth is there and he wants that spot. Bradley McGaskill is still out front. Tim Allensworth gets into the side of the 07 of Ronald Renfro just to tap. Ronald Renfro checks up, goes to the outside, loses a couple of positions. The 29 of Paul Williamson into the tail end of the 77 of Tal Davidson all the way in the back. 29 of Melvin Langley to the inside of the 07 of Ronald Renfro. Going down the back stretch. 44 of TJ Barron right now driving in the sixth position. Looking to the inside of Ricky Jones coming out of turn number four. But it is still Bradley McGaskill out front. With 32 laps complete, followed by the 51 of Chris Chapman. Tim Allensworth looking to the inside of the 38 of Ricky Jones in the seventh position. Ricky Jones closes that door. Tim tucks in back behind him. The four of Jonathan Finley is off pace. Looks like he's going to be coming in to the attention of his crew. The four of Jonathan Finley is going to be coming down pit road, nosing it in.
34 laps complete in this first 50 lap feature event. Thank all the fans for coming out, especially you fans in the trackside spots. We appreciate you guys coming out, and you fans in the stands, thank you very much. Big shout out to the group over there at Ronald Renfro's booth. Thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully Sonny Scott and his guys from Scott Farms is enjoying the races over there as well. Up next, after this first 50 lap feature, is going to be the Bandolero class. The Bandolero class. There's a caution on the back stretch. 29 car. 29 car of Melvin Langley. 29 of Melvin Langley has gone around. Single car incident spin on the back stretch. Well, the cone is out and the lights are out on the pace truck. We're here at Southern National. 36 laps complete. 36 laps complete of the of 50 here in our first feature event for the BK Racing Late Models. It's been the Bradley McGaskill Show. He has led so far from start to where we are right now. Hopefully he can uh, see what we have here to see if he can get the rest of these guys to stay behind him. He's been a pretty dominant car. Hopefully he has what it takes to last. But Chris Chapman in the 51, pretty dominant. This restart, they're side by side 100%. Chris Chapman almost with the advantage coming off of turn number two. Michael Foes with the aggressive move to the inside of Chris Chapman. Going down through turns three and four. Both of those cars racing out of the same motorsports stall. That's the Davis Farms. Wendell Davis taking care of those guys. It's the 63 of Tyler Matthews to the inside of the 44 of TJ Barron. Side-by-side -side racing for those guys down the backstretch. Side-by-side -side racing between the 18 and the 28 of Tyler Horn as well. Right now, Bradley McGaskill out front by two car lanes. Tim Allensworth looking a little bit loose, coming off of turn number, turn number four there on that last lap. Tyler Horn to the inside of the 18. That's for spots seven and eight back there. Right now, the race is on for spot number two. It looks like Chris Chapman has been overtaken by his teammate, Michael Foes. It's Tyler Horn in the 44, TJ Barron. That's the race to be watching right now for the fourth and the fifth spot here. But it's Bradley McGaskill out front by two car lengths. The four of Jonathan Finley still slow on pace, coming back down to seek some more attention from his crew. The 63 of Tyler Matthews gets it to the 44 of TJ Barron on the backstretch trying to fight his way up into a fourth position. T.J. Barron lifts the rear end of the car of Keith Tyler Matthews, gets him up out of the way relatively quickly. Right now, that's the battle, fourth and fifth spot. T.J. Barron and the 63 of Tyler Matthews. Those two get racy, which opens up the door for Tim Allensworth to look to the inside of Tyler Matthews, going down into turn number one and two. Tim Allensworth up on the rear bumper of the 63 of Tyler's Matthews. Still Bradley McGaskill out front, coming to 43 laps, clicked off right now. TJ, TJ Barron in the fourth position. Michael Foes in the second spot, followed by teammate 51 of Chris Chapman. 38 of Ricky Jones back in the seventh position right now. Caution is out again. Stopped back there at the exit of turn number two. Now he's starting to go. A lot of racing going on here in the eastern part of North Carolina. What normally is a 10 car field is only a three car field tonight. Uh, Cameron Rice, Emily Day, and Blaze Brinkley. Our field. Lights are out on the caution truck, pace truck for tonight. It's still Bradley McGaskill out front, but this time to his right side, he has the 54 car of Michael Foes. So the front line for this restart, Bradley McGaskill, Michael Foes. 51 of Chris Chapman in the third spot, and the 44 of TJ Barron starting the top four right there. 
coming off of four, waiting for the green flag. The restart is out, side by side. Brad McGaskill gets a little bit of the jump. TJ Barron aggressively on the rear bumper of Michael Foes. Side by side, all the way through turns one and two. Brad McGaskill with the hop, but it is Chris Chapman back out in the second spot. Overshoots turn number turn number three a little bit, pushes up the track just a tad bit. Tyler Matthews to the inside of Michael Foes. 44 laps complete. Coming to five laps to go right here. Next time by the stripe. Bradley McGaskill's out front, followed by the 51 of Chris Chapman, the 54 of Michael Foes, the 63 of Tyler Matthews. A little bit of a Hornets left. Nest right there between cars positions fifth through seven. That's Ricky Jones, TJ Barron, and Tim Allensworth. The 77 of Tal Davidson up a little bit into the outside wall, backstretch wall there. Caught a little bit of that in the back. Also got into the rear bumper of somebody. Got a little bit nosed up on his car. It's the 38 of Ricky Jones right now, battling for the fifth position between him and TJ Barron. Bradley McGaskill is still out front with the 51 of Chris Chapman, 54 of Michael Foes, and the 63 of Tyler Matthews. 38 and 44. That's Ricky Jones and TJ Barron are battling it out for fifth and fifth and sixth position. The 18 car. The 18 car of Jason York, nosing it into his trailer to seek his team's attention, see if they can better that car. 48 laps, next time by, two laps to go. It's the 38 of Ricky Jones and the 44 of TJ Barron that are battling it out on the backstretch. Bandolero race is up next, guys. That's the Graphics Unlimited Bandolero race. That's uh, 20 laps for the Bandoleros up next. Three cars in that position. Caution is out. Caution is out on the back stretch. That's the 29 of the 29 of Melvin Langley. Well, caution was out, caution was called, so we're gonna go to a green-white checker. Green-white checker. Caution was called before the leader, Bradley McGaskill, crossed the stripe, so we're gonna go to a green-white checker. Twenty-eight of Tyler Horn. Twenty-eight of Tyler Horn. Coming in, taking the attention of his crew. Well, here we go, folks. It's a green-white checkered shootout. Brad the McGaskill's on the inside, 51 of Chris Chapman to the outside, just like we started the race. Deja vu a little bit, 54 of Michael Foes, and that is the 63 of Tyler Matthews to the outside, followed by the 44 of TJ Barron and the 21 of Tim Allensworth, 38 of Ricky Jones, the 12 of Paul Wark, 07 of Ronald Renfro, the 77 of Tal Davidson, the 29 of Paul Williamson, and the 29 of Melvin Langley. Green flag is out. It's a green-white checkered finish here. Bradley McGaskill and Chris Chapman side by side going through turns, turns one and two. It's side-by-side -side racing. Bradley McGaskill, Chris Chapman, still door-to-door, -door, going down into turn number three. Bradley McGaskill coming off of turn number four. It is the white flag is out. It's side-by-side. -side. Chris Chapman and Bradley McGaskill side-by-side. -side. Bradley McGaskill with a little bit of the advantage. Chris Chapman checks up just a little bit, going down into turn number three. Chris Chapman's going to make one solid run to see if he can get Bradley coming off. He's right there. Michael Foz is right there, but it is Bradley McGaskill. Taking the checkered flag, followed by Chris Chapman, followed by the 54 of Michael Foes and Tim Allens, or the 63 of Tyler Matthews, followed by the 21 of Tim Allensworth. That finals up the top five here tonight. But I tell you, that was some gentleman racing right there by Chris Chapman. Could have gotten the advantage on the 18, but he did not. Talk to us about the car, man. How about that last... Melvin Langley spun out, brought out a caution on lap 49, and here this year we're calling caution. So that was a great, great, a great finish to a race. Green, green, white checkered. We made you, made you will a little bit. Chris Chapman really stepped it up there as well. Yeah, he did. He's, you know, great guys here to race with, and he, he can race hard and clean with people like that. And that's, that's what it's all about. It's having fun. Um, just a 
50 hard laps. I mean, we had to push the car a lot harder than I really wanted to, trying to save tires for the second race, but he wanted to go and I wanted to win. There you go. Again, I was explaining to the fans, this is a two new, two used uh, tire race. So you are racing on some tires that probably already have about 50 laps on them. It's really kind of hard to say 50 to 100 laps on them. So what do you have saved on these things? And if, if any, or are we going to see you back out there for uh, the second 50 up front? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. We'll, uh, we'll find out here in a little bit. All right, man. Well, congratulations on your win here tonight. Bradley McGaskill taking home the first win here. A lot of respect down here that you gave Bradley coming out of turn number four. There's a lot of drivers that might want to got up underneath of him and everything else like that, but you showed a lot of respect to that. Anything left in the car for the second 50 lapper? Yeah, that's why I was trying to save a little bit for that second race. Um, hard to, these twin 50s, it's hard to, hard to go hard to win the first one and save for the second one, but um, yeah, we got into each other there a little bit. I don't know what the deal with that was. Uh, I was underneath him, but anyway. Um, I don't think these guys, uh, Sandy Bottom guys, Davis Farms, um, Spikes Tavern, MX3. Uh, My favorite is the Fat Baby's Cafe. Yeah, Fat Baby's Cafe, Elves Drive-In, Carolina Cat, Fire Systems. Uh, thank all of them for all their help all year. Uh, go get this thing dialed in for a second. There you go, man. Well, congratulations on your second place finish. There you guys go, 51 out of the Davis Farms racing. Chris Chapman. Towards the tail end of the race there, you were able to get in front of the 51, hold him off just for a little bit, but then on that one of those late late cautions, you were he was able to get back underneath you. Did you save anything for the second race? Oh, yeah, I uh, saved a little bit. Um, just had a bad restart on that uh, restart down outside, but uh car's real good. I think we have something to, uh, to uh, win with uh, next go around, and uh, we'll uh, try it out. Anybody in particular on your car you want to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank uh, Wendell Davis, um, Davis Farms, my dad. Um, Autocore, all the people that come out and watch, um, my crew to help in, and uh, yeah, and uh, John West for the good engine. There you go. Coming up third place here in your first 50 lap feature, that's Michael Foes driving the 54. Starting in the 10th position, that's the 77 of Tao Davidson. Starting in the 9th position, that's the 12 car of Paul Work. Starting in the 8th position, that's the 07, the Renfro Heating and Air Conditioning Machine, driven by Ronald Renfro. Jones Brothers Towing Car, starting in the 7th position, that's the 38 of Ricky Jones. Starting in the outside row of number 6, that's the 44 of TJ Barron. The inside row of number 3, that's the 21 of Tim Allenworth. Outside row of number 2, that's the 63 of Tyler Matthews. Inside row of number 2, that's the 54 of Michael Foes. On the outside, starting in the second 50 lap feature, that's the 51 of Chris Chapman. And on the pole for the second feature, that's the 18th of Bradley McGaskill. As they take the green flag, it's side-by-side -side racing going down into turns one and two. Chris Chapman with the edge, coming off of turn number two. It's still Bradley McGaskill and Chris Chapman, side-by-side, -side, door by door. That's the 54 of Michael Foes, making it three wide, coming through turns three and four. The 51 of Chris Chapman to the outside. Major caution coming through the laps there. That's the 29 of Melvin Langley involved with the looks like the 18 car of Jason York I'm sorry that's the number 12 car It's going to be a complete restart here for the second 50 lap feature. Caution coming out before the first lap was checked off. Lights are out on the pace truck. 50 laps, green flag racing coming to you here. That was an awesome restart, that first one. 51 of Chris Chapman was to the outside of the 18 of Bradley McGaskill. Coming again to the green flag. Flag is out. It's the 51 of Chapman and the 18 of Bradley McGaskill. Again, side by side, going through turns one and two. Side by side racing, door to door racing, all the way back through six, seven, eight, ninth spot. Bradley McGaskill jumps out front. That's Tim Allensworth looking to get into the side of the 63 of Tyler Matthews. The 54 of Michael Foes is in the third spot. The 51 of Ch uh, Chris Chapman is in the second position right now. 19 to Brandon Hobbs to the inside of the 18, further back of the pack. That's 11th place. Contact between the 38 of Ricky Jones and the 63 of Tyler Matthews. Exiting turn number four. 
A little bit of contact and bumping and banging again between those two cars. Ricky Jones and the 63 of Tyler Matthews through turns one and two as well. T.J. Barron getting a spot on the 63 of Tyler Matthews. Back there in the seventh position. But it is still Bradley McGaskill out front. Chris Chapman is on a mission, though. On the rear bumper of Bradley McGaskill, all the way around the racetrack, he is on a mission to overtake the 18 of Bradley McGaskill. Looks to the inside, hopes to get a quarter on him. He does. A little bit of contact going into turn one and two. Nice, good, clean, hard racing between two competitors here. Chris Chapman to the inside of Bradley McGaskill. Going through three and four, Bradley McGaskill is going to try to do the outside in maneuver. It doesn't work. He falls into second place. Michael Foes is in the third spot. Ricky Jones looks to the inside of the 21 of Tim Allensworth. Looks like the 77 car of Tail Davidson. Off the pace coming in to attend to his, by his crew. Tail Davidson attending to his crew. Mike Darn is looking at his car. It's still Chris Chapman out front. Further back, the race is on for spots three and four. Spots four and five, 21 of Allensworth and the 38 of Ricky Jones. <laughs> 38 of Jones looks to the inside, looking for the pass on Allensworth. Coming out of four, he has the advantage, but it's still Allensworth side by side. Gives it up, checks in behind him. It's the 44 TJ Barron that's on the back corner of Allensworth now. The four Jonathan Finley is further back of the pack. He is in the current ninth position right now. 28 to Tyler Horn is off pace on the back stretch. The 07 of Ronald Renfro riding in the 11th spot right now, right behind the 29 of Paul Williamson. 28 of Horn pulls into the pits. But it's Bradley McGaskill chasing down the 51 of Chris Chapman right now. 16 laps complete. 50 for this feature. is off pace and on the back stretch. That's the 18 car of driver Jason York. Off pace. Trying to figure out what's wrong with his car. 19 laps complete. Coming right here, Chris Trapman's gonna cook off 20. Bradley McGaskill still in suit of race leader right now. Followed by Michael Foes in the third position, followed by the 38 of Ricky Jones.
two laps complete. Eighteen of York pulls into the pits. It's the 12 car, Paul Mark put to the inside of the 29 of Melvin Langley. That's back for the 13th and 14th positions. But it is still Chris Chapman and Bradley McGaskill hunting each other down here. Coming up to some lap traffic right now. Chris Chapman on the outside of Melvin Langley. Melvin Langley goes down a lap. That lap car enables Bradley McGaskill to close the gap on the 51 of Chris Chapman. Third place car of Michael Foes is a good backstretch length behind the car of Bradley McGaskill. Great field of late model stock drivers here tonight. 20 plus cars taking the green flag. That's awesome. 07 of Ronald Renfro following behind the 29 of Paul Williamson. Paul Williamson really making a great advancement here. He ran the Charger division last year in that same identical car, made some changes to it, was able to put a different carburetor on that, find a little additional horsepower, and find his way into the late model stock division here at Southern National. The prime candidate for Rookie of the Year this year. Further back, it looks like Melvin Langley is going down a lap to everybody. Looks like he has a right rear tire rub. A lot of smoke coming off the right rear of that car when he goes through the corners. It's Bradley McGaskill on the rear bumper of the 51 of Chris Chapman. Really can dive into that corner a lot stronger than Chris can. Don't know if he's wearing out his tires. It's 20 laps to go. 20 laps to go. Let's see if he can hold him off. Bradley McGaskill. On the back bumper of the 51 of Chris Chapman. Lap traffic is going to become an issue as they weave through this. We've gone green since the checker, since the green flag. We've gone green all these laps. We had one missed restart, but ever since it's dropped, we've been going green. Coming up on some more lap traffic, the 17 car of Zachary Marks in the 12th position. About to be the next victim of Chris Chapman going down a lap. But it's Bradley McGaskill really can take turn one and two a lot better right now. Seems to be his car is handling through those corners a lot better than that of Chris Chapman's. Chris Chapman has a lot of drive off of four, though, so it'll be interesting to see exactly what happens here. 0-7 of Ronald Renfro is about to go a lap down here. 33, 34 laps complete. Mike Flair staying, Mike here on the Flagstaff staying pretty busy right now. A lot of lap traffic going on. Right here, the 07 of Renfro in the 29. Looks like Bradley McGaskill has a corner on the Chris Chapman 51 car. The 18 of Bradley McGaskill on the rear bumper of the 51. Couple more lap cars to go, and then there's some clear sailing for those drivers so they can compete. 36 laps complete, 14 to go. Coming up on the lap car of the 29 of Paul Williamson in the 10th position. Leaders are overtaking the 10th position here in a lap or two. It's still the 54 car, Michael Foes, maintaining a solid stance on third place here. Followed by the 21 of Tim Allensworth and the 44, TJ Barron. They're going through some lap traffic. Jonathan Finley going down a lap right there. They get by the 29 of Paul Williamson, and the leaders now have a little bit of fresh air. Get some clean air on the front of that nose. And get going. Ten laps to go next time by at the stripe. The rundown as we stand right now, it's the 51 of Chris Chapman, the 18 of Brown and Gaskell, the 54 of Foes, the 21 of Allensworth, the 44 of Barron, the 38 of Ricky Jones, the 63 of Tyler Matthews, the 4 of Jonathan Finley, 
the 9 of Brandon Hobbs, 29 of Paul Williamson, 07 of Renfro, 17 of Martins, 12 of Ward, 29 of Langley, 77 of Davidson, and Tyler Horn is out. So is Jason York. Actually, Jason York is back out on the track. Twenty-nine and Melvin Langley comes down to pit road. It's eight laps to go. Eight laps to go here in this feature. The 18 of Jason York down several laps. It's the 51 of Chapman still out front. Seven laps to go, pulling away from McGaskill. Forty-four laps complete. The 18 of York looks to the outside of the 77 of Davidson. All of those guys down several laps. Out for mechanical issues, but are now back on the track trying to gain some of those laps they lost. 51 of Chapman on the back bumper. It's the 63 of Tyler Matthews looking to the inside of the 38 of Ricky Jones to see if he can secure that sixth place. Four laps to go. It's McGaskill and Chapman. Chapman with an considerable lead on, on McGaskill. Lap car coming into play of the 77 of Davidson. Bradley McGaskill, it just doesn't look like there's anything left on his tires. Three laps to go. to the deuces, two laps to go. Chris Chapman takes those. It's the 51 car of Chapman, followed by the 18 of Bradley McGaskill, followed by the 54 of Foes. One lap to go. Does McGaskill have anything for Chapman? I don't know if he saved anything on his tires. He's definitely driving pretty hard. He's driven in there. I just don't think he has anything left in the tank. Coming to the checkers, Bradley McGaskill sideways down the front stretch, giving it everything he can. But it is Chris Chapman who takes the checkers here in the second feature here tonight. At Southern National, that's the 51 of Chapman. Followed by the 18 of McGaskill, followed by the 54 of Michael Foes here in the second feature. Chris, it looks like you definitely saved some saved some tires from that first race to watch that exhaust that things got me before to get you here to victory lane in the second race. It's your second win here on 2016 season. Tell us how the car was, man. It was pretty good. Uh, we started giving up tire there toward the end of the race. Uh, I just trying to save enough to hopefully I could keep have enough tire left to keep Bradley behind us. Uh, I don't think these guys they worked hard. We done some changes from the first race, second race, and it helped a lot. Um, I don't think all these guys, man, they work their butts off. I don't, and I don't show up a whole lot to get to work on it, but them boys look after me, and I really appreciate everything they do. Uh, I don't think Spike's Tavern, Fat Baby's Cafe, uh, Carolina Cat Power Systems, L Drive-In, MX3, LP Gear, uh, Harrington Race Engines. Um, that's about it, I guess. Well, man, congratulations on your victory here tonight. That makes it two for 2016, so... Hopefully it's a roll. We'll see you next weekend. Congratulations, and thanks for coming and racing with us, man. So uh, didn't really save all the tires that you thought. You gave it definitely a run. I thought you might have had something there for him, but it last, last about six laps, you started fading just a little bit. Tell us about the car. Yeah, we, um, he pushed me a little too hard that first race, and I, wanted to run, I ran a lot harder than I wanted to. But um, either way, you know, I thought we were going to be good there midway through the race, but just never, uh, never got the forward drive we needed. But uh, we can work on it and come back. Hey, man, second place isn't a bad finish. Congratulations on your second place finish and first place finish here tonight. And we'll see you next weekend, hopefully. Michael, just, just nothing to compete with uh, Chris and uh, Bradley up there? Just didn't save the tires that you thought? Or what, what exactly was wrong with the car? 
Uh, the car was real good. Um, they pulled me about five car lengths, and I figured I'd get a caution, so I just sat back there in the road and uh, went um, uh, 50 green laps. And I was surprised by that, but uh, no, the car was real good. Um, I think I had something for him if we would have had a caution, but uh, we'll take this uh, third and uh, go home and try to get faster. There you go. We're back here next weekend. Michael Foes finished in third tonight in the second 50-lap feature.